amazing. Uh, amazing. So uh, just 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 looking at the crowd here. Great. So what we're going to do is uh, there's a song sheet and there. Um, hi, Sherry. <laughs> um, oh, my God, that's so great to see you. <laughs> um, so um, so the song sheet is available in the, the link is in the chat, I believe. Is that correct, Mark? And the link is also in whatever you register on. Will we be sharing uh, the song sheet on the screen, Mark? Is that something we should be doing? And is that easy to do? I'm needed. Um, why don't I put the link for the song sheet in the chat so people can grab it themselves? That would be great. There are not a lot of things with lyrics, okay? Just so you know, you can just you can just follow along most things, but there are a few things with lyrics, and the lyrics are pretty amazing. So there are some things with words, and and we'll be talking about those as we go. But thank you so much for joining us this evening. We already had our 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 mar of service, and then we had a little break, and we're back. But we're going to start with the Hollander family Niggin. And a lot of people in the show already know this one because we do it every year and we teach it at the service. So um, so we'll, you'll stay muted, but please sing along. And it goes like this. Yeah, you die, la, 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 la. So try it with me. La 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 la. la, la. Oh, but mute, but mute, 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 but mute. <laughs> so we're all over the world. So mute, but right along with me, but mute. Okay. Yeah, la 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 la. Yeah, la 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 la. La 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 la. Yeah, la 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 la. Yeah, la 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 la. Yeah, la 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 la. Okay. Yeah, la 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 la. Yeah, la 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 la. Yeah, la 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 la. Okay, and I remind you to mute when you sing back because there's a lot of yous. Okay. Yeah, la 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 la. Yeah, la 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 la. Let's sing the whole first part. Yeah, la 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 la. Yeah, la 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 la. Yeah, la 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 la. Yeah, la 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 la. Yeah, la 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 la. Yeah, la 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 la. Second part. Yeah, la 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 la. Go ahead. Yeah, la. La 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 la. Ya la 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 la. Here we go. Ya la 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 la. Ya la 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 la. Ya la 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 la. Ya la 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 la. Together. Ya la 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 la. Ya la 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 la. Ya la 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 la. Let's do the second part together. Ya la 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 la. Ya la 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 la. Ya la 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 la. Ya la 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 la. Ya la 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 la. And the third part. Ya. Ya la 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 la, ya la 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 la, ya la 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 la. Let's do that together. Ya, ya la 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 la, ya la 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 la, ya la 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 la, ya la la la. Okay. Ya, ya la 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 la, ya la 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 la. Ya la 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 ya la la ha ya 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 la 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 ya la 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 ya la 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 ya 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 ha ya ya back to the top ya everybody together ya la 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 ya la 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 ya la 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 ya la 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 Ah, la 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 la, la 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 la, 
Second part, Thank you. So we'll do that again at the end, but you all know it now. And that niggin is one that was easy enough for everybody to always sing because it was a niggin that Mr. Hollander would always sing with his family on Friday night and um, as they danced around the table. Now, for those who are new to, uh, to the Hollander Tisch, um, we've been doing this here for about, I'd say about 10 years now. Uh, Mr. Hollander passed away in 2015, but we already were doing this with him for quite a few years before that. And he would help lead it. We would lead it together. And after he passed away, we remember him every February because this is the time of his birthday uh, with a tish where we uh, sing the melodies that he taught us uh, as the Baal Tefila and Baal Kore at Temple Beth Israel in Waltham for close to 45 years. So uh, really kind of amazing. Um, so that means the Torah reader and the person who led, normally led the minion and, and a lot of the services. So um, we're gonna continue. So let me just say a little bit about him. So he was born in a little farming village and Mark Frydenberg, our former president is there and you can kind of see the farming village. Uh, if you can see Mark's, Mark's rectangle. Uh, Mark is currently situated in Upper Remite, uh, which is a small um, farming village in Karpato, Ruthenia on the far Eastern side of Czechoslovakia when he was growing up and of course the far western side of the Ukraine now uh, near the town, near the, the city of Beregovo, which in those days was called Beregsats. It was south of Munkac and Munkac was a very, very important Jewish area, a very important Jewish capital with, with many famous Hasidic Rebbe's, especially Rabbi Shapiro and as we go through the evening, I'll tell more of the story of Mr. Hollander's family. Um, but the thing to say really at the beginning is that in the early part of his life before, um, before the Holocaust and before the entire family was sent to, to Auschwitz, um, the, uh, this area was a paradise for Jews. Masaryk, who was the head, the president of Czechoslovakia, um, would ride around with the, the head rabbi instead of the mayor when he went to Munkac. He would ride around in a coach just to show that there could be no anti-Semitism. It would not be tolerated in that part of Czechoslovakia. And so it was a very free, as Mr. Hollander used to say, even freer than it is here. Um, people in the streets, you know, didn't, it didn't worry about what they wore. Um, nobody was persecuted. And so he grew up in that environment, which is why when he came to Waltham, which also is a fantastic place, um, he felt like sharing this culture would be what he always wanted to do at Temple Beth Israel. And he did that for so many years. So we're going to go on, actually, uh, from a niggin that Mr. Hollander learned from the Bercher Rebbe. And the Bercher Rebbe was a cousin of Rabbi Shapiro and Munkach. And he actually lived with the Hollanders. And he was a very, very pious man. Uh, so pious that, for example, um, he slept in the same room as Mr. Hollander. And one of the things Mr. Hollander liked to say was the, that, that Rabbi Shapiro, um, he had insomnia. And so he would wake up often in the middle of the night. And every time he woke up, he did what pious Jews do, which is recite, Mode Ani Lifanecha. So Mr. Hollander just remembers as a child about every 15 minutes hearing and then he'd fall back to sleep. And then 15 minutes later, okay, so this is who Rabbi Shapiro was. 
Um, Rabbi Shapiro had a beautiful voice, and he would uh, he he sang both Dvekas nigunim, which are which are very uh, which is the the nigunim, the melodies that are about cleaving to God, um, and he also sang dance melodies that his son composed. So we're going to do two of those. We're going to start with 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 the Bercher Rebbe's Dvekas nigun. And to share that with us, we won't teach this one because it's a little complicated, but again, all of these pieces are on the website at Temple Beth Israel and you can find them there. Um, and we are very happy to have with us all the way from San Francisco tonight, where it's not quite Shabbos yet, but she will be leading a service there in about a half hour, um, Jessica Kate Meyer, uh, who, who is a classmate of our own rabbi, David Finkelstein at Hebrew College. So we're very happy to have Jessica Kate Meyer here. And Jessica Kate Meyer, you could talk for a second about Mr. Hollander and then please chant Rabbi Shapiro's Dveka Snigan. Thank you. Um, I, you know, you said that, I, I, that earlier that Mr. Hollander, if he had been single, then maybe he would have proposed and it was very <laughs> mutual, um, but thank God he wasn't single and that was a beautiful relationship. And I really just, when I was in Boston and I was you know, learning with you and, and learning with Mr. Hollander and getting to know Edith a little bit, um, just the, the warmth and, and that Mr. Hollander always kissed my hand before we sang, <laughs> I'm sure many of you experienced. Um, Okay. None, none, none of none the guys, guys experienced that for some reason. Oh, <laughs> you missed out. Uh, okay.
So uh, amazing and good Shabbos, everyone. That is how you start Shabbos, exactly. Yeah. Ooh, so beautiful. Thank you, Jessica, Rabbi Jessica. And um, we have another niggin from, from the son of Rabbi Shapiro, who was the music teacher for Mr. Hollander's uh, village. Um, and really the music teacher in, in the Talmud Torah in Beriksatz, where, where uh, Mr. Hollander went from Upper Remedy to go to school. Um, and he would stay with his grandmother there in Beriksatz because the, the, the city, the city was, only was only around. around oh, somebody, somebody needs to mute. Sorry. Uh, okay. So the city was, was only about, I'd say, 20 miles. And they would take the train every morning. He would take the train at the beginning of the week. Um, one of the things about the train that's worth mentioning is because of the atmosphere in that part of Czechoslovakia, the first thing that would happen at that train on that, that early train is that the conductor would go through the cars and announce minion in car number three. And literally, <laughs> it would basically be time for people to go to car number three and have a minion because he knew there were a lot of Jews coming from different little towns in the country and they needed to have a minion. So there was always a minion in the train on the way to Beriksatz in the morning. And so, so Rabbi Shapiro, who was the son of the Bercher Rebbe, uh, made up a lot of nigunim that he taught the children. And Mr. Hollander would talk about this particular nigun as something his family would always dance to on Friday night. And when I sing it, uh, you, you know, you'll see that one of the things that happens, it's, it's one of these sort of tongue twister nigunim. So it's really a, a, a tish nigun, although Mr. Hollander was also very particular that you shouldn't bang on the table. Um, <laughs> It was not a thing that his family liked to do. They were modern Orthodox. They were not Hasidim. But I want to make the point that all Orthodox Jews in Eastern Europe, in that part of Eastern Europe, sang Nigunim and had family Nigunim. It's just they didn't bang on the table as much as the Hasidim. So, um, so this is a very beautiful melody. And we will do a tag team here. I will teach it to you and we'll sing it because it's very lively. But what you have to do is you have to kind of make your tongue work really uh, very um, quickly on this because it goes like this. Okay, so you need your diddle diddle die. Okay, this is like uh, Mary Poppins, um, right? Okay, so here we go. So again, stay muted, and then we'll do the whole sections, and we'll we'll go back. From the top, second part, Third section. Okay. Yeah, 
I, 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 I always get mixed up and Eden is laughing. Is she... One more time. Let's do that section again. And then we do the second section. So we're going to do the whole niggin now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh my God, I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay, so now I want to talk about Mr. Hollander's brother, and his name was Shuli, and he was studying to be a chazan at the Nitra Yeshiva. And the Nitra Yeshiva was the very last Yeshiva that was open. So Yeshiva is a place where rabbis go to study. And it was the very last Yeshiva that was open in Eastern Europe. In fact, it was actually open, I, I read somewhere till 1942, um, because somehow there was a, they made an arrangement that this particular Yeshiva in Czechoslovakia stayed open. Um, and it was the very last one. But his, his brother, um, was a little bit of a songwriter also. And uh, Shirley Hollander, who unfortunately passed away right after the war, right after being released from Auschwitz, did not live on, but his music lived on through Morris Hollander. And one of the songs that he wrote is a song about Friday night. And it's a song about the fact that he would go to, um, to the yeshiva and he'd stay there all week. And then on Friday night, he would come home to a beautiful Sabbath meal with his family. And he linked this to the idea of God creating the world in six days. And then on Friday night, he had to get it done. He had to just make sure that everything was finished on that sixth day because he just had to get ready for Shabbos. And he had to also get to that Sabbath meal. So. Shuli Hollander wrote this beautiful song called Jeden Freitag zu Nachts, every Friday night. And it's on the song sheet with a beautiful translation. But to sing it for you now, very happy to welcome Eden McAdam Sommer. And a lot of people at the shul know this song. And so you can mute yourselves, but sing along on the chorus. Please sing along. I love this song so much. And it's uh, so great to be here with you all. This is so much fun. Um, I think I'm just going to launch right into the song. I love this. Um, here we go. Gehendigt beschaffen die Welt Hot Gott in dem Freitag Zenachts Mit einem Mutter Welt der Herr gestellt Bringt in den Freitag zehn Nachts. Gemacht hat der Wälder in Feldrasach. Gemacht hat er Menschen lach, Horem und Rach. 
Gebt Nacht auf der Himmel im Erdetag. Bringt in den Freitag zu Nacht. Weil jeden Freitag zu Nacht. Und ruft bitte zu Rest. Der Tisch ist gedeckt, in der Stäbe sein Chaos und alles schmeckt. Weil jeden Freitag zu Nacht, mehr sitzt sich in der Dieres und mehr singt sich des Meeres. Weil jeden Freitag zu Nacht, schuldig und fort sich herum und kommt daheim Freitag zu Nacht. Er ist berühren im Mitten und kommt daheim pink Freude zu Nacht. Das Fabel, das Frume, sie setzt ihn zum Tisch und geht ihm dem Kiddisch und erlangt ihm der Fisch. In die Stäbe sein Chaos und alles ist frisch, bringt ihm dem Freude zu Nacht. Weil jeden Freitag zu Nacht a Ruhe mit der Zuris, der Tisch ist gedeckt, in der Stäbe sein Chaos und alles schmeckt. Weil jeden Freitag zu Nacht mehr sitzt sich in der Dieres und der singen sich des Meeres, weil jeden Freitag zu Nacht <laughs> Fantastic. And Ed Brown, by the way, who is a much beloved member of our congregation, actually called me after services about, about three weeks ago and said that he had found the origin of this melody, that it actually came from, from a very popular German waltz of the 1920s, and that it was really modeled after this tune. So thank you, Ed, for that information. I've been wondering for years, it, but this was... A, tune that was popular all over Europe at the time. And so uh, Julie Hollander apparently used this tune as the basis of his own tune. So uh, thank you for that, Ed. Um, who, who was the, uh, who, who's the, who was the sort of um, the musician who, uh, who you listened to who played the waltz? Can you just tell the people that? If you want to unmute for a second, you should all meet Ed Brown. Yeah, it, it was Andre Rayu. Andre Rayu, right. So Andre Rayu uh, made a beautiful recording on the violin of this waltz, and Ed heard that, and um, and there we go. And Ed, by the way, represents the real Cambridge. Okay, <laughs> so he he is born. He is from Cambridge when Cambridge was Cambridge, with with all the schools there around Windsor Street in Columbia. Yep, that's his childhood. The Talmud Torah there on. Uh, on Broadway or somewhere, Webster Street, I don't know, any of, oh, anyhow, he's, he's Webster, from, Webster Street, yeah. That's what I thought. Right on the Somerville line. <laughs> on the Somerville line, but he's yeah. in Waltham now. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, he's in Newton now, but we won't, we won't uh, split hairs. Okay. <laughs> So um, what I would love now, um, actually, I would love it if Eden, you know, we, we, it says Friday Night Samira's tune, but in fact, we're going to substitute a beautiful, beautiful melody uh, because we never know when Eden's two children will drag her away from this tish. So, um, so um, we're going to have a melody that came to us from Uncle Schleuma Hollander and Panina Kaplan who is uh, Uncle, Schleuma's, um, Uncle Schleuma's granddaughter, in fact, will hopefully get to hear this Tisch later. We also have other members of the, uh, of the Hollander uh, extended family here. Risa Becker is one of them. And I noticed, and Sharon and Joe Kalis are here. So we'll talk about the, uh, the Kalis part of the family later on. So it's wonderful to see so much, uh, so much of the, the the Hollander family, the Hollander heritage, and how you're honoring uh, Morris and Edith's memory tonight. So, so this is a melody that Uncle Schleuma uh, improvised um, as the beginning of the prayer, actually on Rosh Hashanah. But it's a it's a it's a melody that was very beloved to the family, and he would use it as a basis for improvisation. in In Rosh Hashanah on the second day, there's a prayer uh, that you only say on that day. 
and it's part of the Musaf Amida. And it's basically a prayer that gives thanks for the creativity of the people who lead the prayers. And it's really kind of amazing. It's like, it's like you go the whole year and then all of a sudden the second day of Rosh Hashanah, there's credits. You know, you finally have this thank you for the people who lead the prayers and the fact that they are creative people. And so it was very traditional to improvise the beginning of this prayer. And so uh, Eden is gonna chant this for you. And this is, we call this Uncle Shloima's Melody. I love this, um, this, this piece so much. And um, it always makes you think about, Hankus has, has talked many times about how the, this element in, in Jewish music where there's this um, constant reaching up to heaven, reaching up to paradise and then never quite getting there. And I feel like this song just really, um, this, this prayer really, um, really touches on that just aspect of, of our lives. And especially right now, I feel like that's kind of where we all are right now. We're just reaching, we're reaching, we're not quite there, but we keep reaching and that's the important thing, right? So, and um, do you want to continue after this with the Hollander Friday night melody that that we like to do coming out of it because that would be lovely and I, you can teach it to everybody if you want i will i will do that yeah and if um yeah and if, uh, if somebody wants to take over just unmute yourself and shout out i got it <laughs> or something Ka kaya do you have this one is this one you have too uh the yeah nah, 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 nah. yeah 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 so we'll let eden lead <laughs> yeah, it the I first time it. and you take it the second time okay that's great, great. Yeah. So we'll just do it we'll do it twice and try to sing along as you catch it okay here we go Sing that with me. <laughs> 
then it's almost the same thing. Let's do that part. Whole thing. Here's the next part. Let's do that. Here's the next part. Let's do that part. The whole thing, yeah. the ending. Next part. Let's just do all of that. It's a mouthful, but you got it. One more time. Yeah. We go back to the second part. Yeah. Okay, you got it. Lead us through that. Now everyone has to be is really experienced in this tune, so we can do it like fast and very spirited. And this is great. I'm seeing it's so cool because I'm seeing kind of generations of people who worked at the conservatory with me on Jewish music, Jessica and then Eden and now Kaya and Kaya is a current student at NEC. So that is really beautiful. I also want to acknowledge a few people. Eden's mom is here all the way from Houston, Texas, Karen Somer. OK, and I want to also hi, acknowledge mom. what's that? Oh, hi, mom. Yes, hi, mom. That's important. OK. <laughs> And by the way, uh, if the kids act up, you're in charge. Okay. I think my dad's here too. <laughs> oh, oh, he might have had fine. To then. <laughs> <laughs> and then I also want to, I, I also noticed John Harrison, my camp director from Lighthouse Camp is here. So fantastic to see you after all these years. 
originally from England, but I think you live in the States now. Is that right, John? Yeah, we live in North Carolina. We came back to Anne's home. Oh my God! It's great to see, it's great to see you, Hank. Because I oh, it's wonderful um, to see you. Yeah, and I'd like you to just tell me, um, you know, just just tell me uh, that I should not commit any more major or minor infractions. Okay, I just I just have to hear you say that, that in the voice that you said that with the accent that you said that. Well, the 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 big one was <laughs> Girls Hill. Oh yes, that's true. Raiding Girls Hill. That's a good point. Roaming, roaming in the dark on Girls Hill was a big infraction. <laughs> okay, well, I never did that, actually. Oh, come on. Come on. <laughs> but I, I have to tell you that, John, that after you after you left Lighthouse about three years later, Girls Hill was fair game for everyone. So there we go. The whole thing was all mixed up and no more, no more major infractions for going to Girls Hill. Okay, it's so good to see you. Uh, um, anyhow, um, so I wanna ask a congregant, Phyllis Whirlin, who by the way, led many parts of the service this evening so beautifully to sing the niggin that Mr. Hollander used to sing that he learned from his father and his father, you know, he described, I mean, it's so interesting. We really, what, one of the things I love to do is introduce you to the family, you know, and we, you know, we met Uncle Schleimer. Uncle Schleimer was, was a Prussian soldier, World War I. I mean, like the perfect, like absolutely dapper guy who, in fact, because he had been a soldier in World War I, that bought the family time when Hungary invaded Czechoslovakia they actually managed to get another four years before being taken away because he proved that he was a soldier in World War I and that protected the family for quite a while. Um, but Uncle Schleimer was also the Baltafilla who taught Mr. Hollander everything about how to lead a service. So in fact, the legacy that we have from Mr. Hollander is really the legacy from his Uncle Schleimer that is preserved from the time of World War I, um, at least. Um, and the Hollander family, of course, like many families in that part of Eastern Europe and families named Hollander were originally Sephardic Jews that found themselves their way into Eastern Europe and just were in the in the spirit of Sephardic Jews, I will say lovers of culture. And because of that, that might very well be why they preserved their music so beautifully. Um, so, so it actually was, you know, he, he could trace his family back to Spain. It was very clear. He knew that lineage, um, but but it was a family that spoke Yiddish and spoke many other languages at home and was very, very cultured. And his father, Mordecai Hollander, ran the farm. The family lived on a farm and they had a farm stand and they sold eggs okay. and they sold chickens and they sold milk. And they they had a they had this this farm. And they had a Roma family that lived on the farm because they said to the Roma family, "Why should you guys be roaming, be 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 having to having to be you know vagrants going all over? No, you'll live on our farm. You'll live on our farm, and you'll help us with the farm." So they were very much part of it, and they also became the musicians of the village. So they would go to the services on Friday night and pick up the tunes. And if there was a wedding, if there was a chasana, the gypsy musicians of that town were the ones who played the Jewish weddings. Um, so Mordechai Hollander though was not a wealthy man and he was always worried. He was always very, very worried that he wouldn't make enough money to support his family. And the only time he was happy, Mr. Hollander would say was when he sang the song that Phyllis is going to sing. So this is something, again, the Hollanders would sing on Friday night and Mordechai Hollander would always sing this and I call it Mordecai Hollander's Happy Niggin. So Phyllis, take it away. Now I've got the other niggin in my head instead. <laughs> I was listening to him, Mr. Ho a recording of Mr. Hollander doing this. So it, it does go kind of fast and it's short. Right, you got it. Yeah, I got it. La 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 
la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la one more time let's sing the whole thing from the top though let's sing it from the top okay phyllis here we go la 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 because it could go on forever you could just keep going on and on I can't hear you, Hankus. And I, I so much fun. I forgot to unmute. Yes. I want to very much um, thank Beryl Gilfix. I noticed from the Adam Street Shul for joining us tonight. I see that you're with us, so that is spectacular. That is the the Orthodox Shul in my in my neighborhood here, and I think Beryl is the president of that shul, as as I recall. Um, certainly very, very important in restoring that shul and getting that shul up running again. So thank you so much for joining us. And I want to um, also um, now um, ask that we we're going to move we we're going to move to the portion of Shabbos um, Zemiris, and we're going to go back to Kaya. And Kaya is going to lead a fairly simple Yom Zel the Yisroel. Yom Zeli Yisroel, Ora Vesimcha. So it, it is a day for the Jews of happiness and, and celebration. Ora Vesimcha, Shabbos Menucha, a Sabbath of rest. Um, and so the words are very easy. Yom Zeli Yisroel, Ora Vesimcha, Ora Vesimcha, Shabbos Menucha. Oh, you have a simcha. Shabbos menucha. Oh, um, yeah. Shabbos menucha. Oh, you have a simcha. So uh, let's do this a few times so people can catch on. This is also a great Afro pop jam tune I have found. Absolutely fantastic. It just is. It works so beautifully like that. But again, these tunes are tunes from the Hollander family, and um, it's it's amazing because I've gone around in the Orthodox in the Hasidic community in New York, and whenever I teach them these tunes, they say, "Oh, we don't know that. We've never heard that before." Um, so it's really amazing to preserve this these tunes from one family out of six in a little farming village in a corner of Czechoslovakia. So Kaya, lead us in Yom Zed Yisroel. So it's fairly simple. It's only a few lines, but it goes Yom Zed Yisroel. Simcha, Ira Vesimcha, Shabbat Menucha, Ora Vesimcha, Shabbat Menucha, Ora Vesimcha, 
Shabbat Menucha. Let's just do that on Yai Dai Dai. Yai Dai 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 Yai Dai 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 Yom Zele Yisrael, Oya Vesimcha, Oya Vesimcha, Shabbat Menucha, Oya Vesimcha, Shabbat Menucha, Oya Vesimcha, Shabbat Menucha. Tivita Pikudim, Bimamat Har Sinai, Shabbatu Moadim, Nishmor Bechol Shanai, Larach Lefanai, Maset Va'arucha, Shabbat, Shabbat, Shabbat Menucha. Chem dat halvavot, Leuma shivura, Lenafashot nichavot, Nishama itera, Lenafesh mitera, Yasira anacha, Shabbat, Shabbat, Shabbat menucha, back to the chorus. Yom zele yisrael, Oh, Rabbi Simcha, Oh, Rabbi Simcha, Shabbat menucha, Oh, Rabbi Simcha, Shabbat menucha. Oy Rabbi Simcha, Shabbat Menucha, Kiddish Taverachta, Oto Mikoyamim, Besheish at Kilit, Amalechet Olamim, Bomatu Agumim, Hashkehetu Bidcha, Shabbat, Shabbat, Shabbat Menucha, last verse about the Messiah, Chadesh Mikdashenu, Zacha Nechavet, Tufcha Moshienu, Tenala Nechavet, Bishabat Yoshevet, Biz Mihir Shvacha, Shabbat, Shabbat, Shabbat Menucha, Chorus, Yom Zele Yisrael, Oya Vesimcha, Oya Vesimcha, Shabbat Menucha, Oya Vesimcha, Shabbat Menucha, Oy Rav Simcha, Shabbat Menucha, Yai Dai, 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 Yai Woo, Kaya, yay. Now, I have to tell you that I never heard Mr. Hollander sing that with anything other than the first verse, but I'm sure that back in Beregsatz, back in Operemite, they sang it with all the verses. So it's so beautiful to hear Kaya sing it with all the verses. And that will become a tradition, I think, at Temple Beth Israel now, right, Rabbi? And I want to introduce our Rabbi, David Finkelstein. Just say hello, wave, please. There he is. <laughs> okay, there we go. So, and we just heard also from another member of his family. So is Matthew Schifrin here? I would like Matthew Schifrin to declare himself to be here if he is yep. indeed I'm Matthew here. Schifrin is in the house. Yay. Okay. So Matthew Schifrin is another current student at New England Conservatory. And Matthew uh, is going to lead us in our first. Uh, okay. So let me just, uh, I will quickly go through Shabbos. So that was Shabbos evening. We finished that. And now we're going to move. We're not going to do El Adon from Shabbos morning for the service because this is a tish. We're going to go to the next tish instead. So we're gonna to go to the Shalashudas Tish. This is the table on the afternoon. So, cause you start out singing Nigunam on Friday night, but then in the afternoon, it's a time when you don't want the Sabbath to leave. And the Nigunam and the melodies are a little different than the Friday night ones. They're ones that really, we wanna hold on to the Sabbath. And this is a very, very beautiful Tish Nig. And this came from from uh, Mr. Hollander's uncle, Beryl. Beryl Kalish, this is the family that, that uh, Joe Kalish and Sharon are, are descended from, the Kalish family. Um, Beryl Kalish was 
was had a beautiful red face and a long white beard, a long white beard. And he lived in the town also. And he would insist when they would sit down on the Saturday afternoon to have the Shalashittis meal, the third Sabbath meal, they would always start with this Tish Nigan, which is a table melody. And this melody is heard in many, many places places, in fact, uh, very popular in New York, but I've never heard this version of it anywhere other than from Morris Hollander. It's a it's a different version of a very popular Shalashittis Nigan. So uh, Matt Schifrin, do you want to do the honors for us? Sure. Okay. Yeah, Matthew, it's a beautiful, beautiful Tishnigan. So because we're at Chalashudis, we're getting ready for the Malave Malka. Now I want to say one other thing. The other thing we're getting ready for is Purim. So we'll go a little bit longer because we're also going to do a few of Mr. Hollander's Purim tunes, which are also on the song sheet. But let's move ahead now to Askinu Sedusa. Askinu Sedusa, which I will admit that it's actually a skinny sedusa in the dialect that Mr. Hollander um, used, which was the Galician dialect, a skinny sedusa. He would also then sometimes point out that this was uh, perhaps you could call it a skinny sedusa. Okay. And uh, this is the, what it says on the sheet, epis von Malave Malka. So if you're following on the sheet, and I'll lead this one. Um, and you can try to follow along. All right, people from the shul do know it because uh, when whenever there was something on Saturday afternoon, Mr. Hollander would sing this melody, but it's a lovely melody for Askini Sedusa. Askinu Sedusa, Tim Chaim Menusa. Shremaso Hedvoso de Malka Kadisho Askinu Siduso de Mahoko Do he Suduso le Malka Meshiko David Melech Yisroel David Melech Yisroel David Melech Yisroel Chai ve Kahayam Asim Hon Tov on Maz Hotov a simon toy vu muzzle toy, ye hey lahanu, ye hey lahanu, 
Ye hey la hanu, ye hey la nu la call Yisrael heaven no himara main. Oi, simen tovun mazel tov, simen tovun mazel tov, simen tovun mazel tov, mazel tovun simen tov, simen tovun mazel tov. Ye hey la hanu, ye hey la hanu, ye hey la hanu. Let's do it one more time. We can sing along. Askini sedu so, dim chayim meno so, shlemo sa, chedvo sa, demoka kadisho. Askinu sedu so, dim mahoko, do he sedu so, lemoke meshecho. David Melech Yisroel, David Melech Yisroel, David Melech Yisroel, Chayvik HaHayam, Simen Tov, Un Mazo Tov, Un Simen Tov, Un Mazo Tov, Yehei Lahanu, Yehei Lahanu, Yehei Lahanu, Yehei Lahanu, Lachol Yisroel, Vinoy Mora Homenoi, Simen toivu mazel tov, mazel tov, un simen toiv, simen toivu mazel tov, mazel tov, un simen toiv, simen toivu mazel tov, ye hey lahanu, ye hey lahanu, ye hey lahanu, ye hey lahanu, lechol Yisrael v'noi marahomein. As you can see, prepare the meal of the king, the complete de delight of the holy king. The meal of the Holy One, blessed be he, and the feminine presence of God, the Shekhinah. David, the king of Israel, is alive and well for all of us. There should be a good sign and good luck. And this is how they would end the Shabbos. So this was the Malave Malka, the, the meal that was after the third Shabbos meal, when it was after Shabbos, and they would keep the Sabbath spirit going by singing this kind of song. Now... We're going to move over to the Purim portion of the program. I want to say, though, before we go to that, uh, thank you so much for joining us. Anybody who's not staying for Purim, <laughs> but I think you should stay for Purim because it's going to be a lot of fun. So, um, so I want to mention also, though, that we have a website at the Shul, uh, which if you go to the TBI website, and you go to about our history. So you find on the second section of the, of the website um, about the congregation and you look at history, you'll see a whole link to all kinds of information about the Hollander family. And also an exhibit that I put together at the Yiddish Book Center, which is a permanent exhibit there about the family. And you'll see a link to a lot of that material. And it's quite a story. I mean, it's because it's really beautiful because he talks all about his childhood and he talks all about the Roma family that lived on the farm. And he talks all about the town and, 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 and the Talmud Torah that he went to where and the cheder that he went to and how the rabbi would be making wine for Passover while he was teaching the children by, by, by pressing raisins with his feet to make raisin wine um, as he taught in the, in the cheder. Um, and, and et cetera, et cetera. You find out a lot about this family. Also the story of, of, of when he was sent to Auschwitz um, and he tells the whole story and he tells how he almost was killed five different times and the forced march to Ebensee, but somehow he survived. He was in a full body cast for three years to recover from the injuries. He was in a sanatorium to recover from tuberculosis where he met his wife, Edith Hollander, who also was there recovering from tuberculosis, having been a forced laborer in Berlin. Um, and then they survived and they ran a store in Czechoslovakia in the 19, late 1940s and in the 50s and through the 60s. He was approached to become the head of the Communist Party in his town in Liberish in, in, um, in Czechoslovakia. And he told me how he said to the the head of the Communist Party, oh, I am not worthy. I am so unworthy of this honor, of this great honor. And somehow he got out of Czechoslovakia in 1968, came to Roxbury first, then came to Waltham, uh, where he worked for a very long time at a place called Parametrics and became part of our community in 1968 and was with us until 2015. 
So uh, this whole story is there. And so it's an amazing story. And I was very happy to get to know him. I met him in 1993. So I knew him for at least 22 or 23 years. And uh, he was a really amazing, amazing person. Um, and taught us so much. And everyone at the shul is grateful for his legacy. Ah, so um, by the way, is Dina also here, our, our, our president? Uh, we should say, we should honor her. And Jimmy Barron and Andrea Barron, who keeps everything going at the shul for all these years. Uh, happy to have them with us also tonight. And I'm just gonna, gonna just scan the crowd here. And the minion is here. And Yussi Weintraub, who really more than anyone else was like a son to Mr. Hollander and, 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 and learn and just, you know, uh, was really someone who, who spent so much time with him along with Mark Frydenberg. So it's so great to have Yossi here. Yossi, Yossi is here from Portland, Oregon. Is that correct? Uh, actually we're in uh, Eugene, Oregon. Okay. And, uh, for <laughs> those of you who uh, didn't get to meet in person, my, uh, my sweetie Emily and we were uh, married here when a year and a half ago or yeah. so. Absolutely wonderful. Thank you so Hello. much. I mean, we have such a distinguished crowd. Oh my God, Hannah Griff is here. Yay. Okay, so Hannah Griff ran the Eldridge Street Shul, which is a cultural center in New York for so many years. Uh, but again, this is the legacy of Temple Beth Israel. What would Waltham be without the Griff family? Griff furniture, which, you know, rivaled only by well, we won't even say who. <laughs> okay, because they joined the Lexington Shul a long time ago. So <laughs> we, but, but they are honored the, the, that, 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 that family uh, that, that owns the other furniture store. Okay, so uh, great to have Hannah Griff here and Merrill Griff here. And Merrill Griff is visiting from, uh, I assume, St. Louis. So that's fantastic. But I see so many wonderful shul members here. It's absolutely fantastic. Sherry Mayrent, who is the who is the person who who initiated Living Traditions, one of the great organizations that has preserved so much in Jewish culture and the Mayrin collection of Jewish music. She's here. She's a member of our shul for so many years. Um, uh, I mean, it's it's just such a great thing to see everybody gathered here tonight, um, looking around. Wow. Well, anyhow, I, 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 you know, it's one of those things. I, I there's a, uh, uh, you know, a wedding band leader one night uh, was telling me a, a wedding musician was telling me about a drunken band leader, who um, was leading the Mazinka dance at a wedding, and you know, in the Mazinka dance, you're supposed to it's supposed to be honoring the mother, the mother of the youngest child uh, when the youngest daughter is getting married. That's really all it is, but. You know, he uh, people band leaders in America would called it considered it a photo op. And one night, this person called up. You know, of course, the father of the the groom also, and the mother of the groom. But then he started calling up everybody, the the relatives, and he looked around the room. And by the end of the night, there were three hundred people, all up there. It took three hours to do the mazinka. They never actually even got to the dance. It was just photos. So I'm not going to introduce everybody here. Um, Instead, we will move on to the Purim portion of the program. And um, the Purim portion of the program with Mr. Hollander always started with the Purim Kiddush. And um, as Mark wrote just this morning, because we added this just this morning, uh, do you want to do you want to introduce it, Mark? Because Mark is going to do the Purim Kiddush for us tonight. Sure. Um, and I don't want to rush the end because it's not quite yet. Oh. I, I said this once again. Um, so this is the song that Morrison sang after the Megillah reading. Uh, and he would sing this poor Kiddush. There's a recording of it on, uh, on the website. And we all would join in with him for the last few lines, which are familiar. But I tried to understand what he was actually saying. It wasn't really easy to do because his Hebrew and my Hebrew weren't the same Hebrew. And so um, I listened to it very slowly a whole bunch of times. And I wanted to point out a couple of things in the text. One is Hank has made, made us realize that uh, it ends with a reference to Bacchus, the Greek god of wine. And then a few lines down, it talks about how they drank and didn't drink. And it moves to the beginning of the Shabbat Kiddush, 
in the evening with the words Vayir, Vayir Boker, Yom Hashishi, and then on the seventh day, he brings in a verse from the book of Esther. Uh, it was on the seventh day when the king, uh, his heart was married with wine. So there's this connection between the seventh day of Shabbat and the seventh day when they were drinking. And then later on, uh, another verse of the book of Esther about uh, Haman covering his head going home. And that is a sign that uh, God that was true and endures forever. So uh, join me with this as you can, and hopefully I can, uh, we'll do minimal justice. So I'm going to suggest one thing, Mark. If you can, if you can do the enhanced sound thing on your computer, you probably get a better sound when you're singing. Is that okay? Can you do that with uh, the Zoom? Because I think it's cutting out a little bit. So try. Hold on. That's good. So this is some of the folklore. I mean, the thing that's so amazing about Mr. Hollander is it wasn't just the religious music. It was that he lived in a world where the where the the folk and the religious were really the same thing. You know, it was not they were not different things. And this is a folklorized Kiddush. Is this better? Yes, perfect. Thank you. Okay, right, here goes nothing. Hamoros Pachilus Shalosh Esre Midos Hamoros Vashtiu Neho Midos Kedolos Tiste Veho Midos Katanu Lo Tiste Mimas Azayan Bezoch Tisre Beshabes of Yontif Beho Mimas Hayayan Bayoker Tis Tishte Erev Erev Shabbos Vayher Erev Vayhevoker Yom Hashishi Vayachulu Hashemayim Vaharetz Vechol Tzivam Vayichal Elohim Vayom Hashvi Itov Lev Hamelech Vayayin Amar Lemuhuman Bezuta Harvona Pixav Argosaz Zasar Vecharvas Shivas Hasarisim. I'm sorry, 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 Melech al-Kol ha-Aretz, Mekadesh Yisrael, B'yom HaShikurim. All right, B'yom HaShikurim. Bravo, thank you, Mark. Amen. <laughs> thank you, Yossi. <laughs> Good job. This, this was always, thank you, great job, Mark. This was always a great moment for the shul. And uh, maybe we'll hear this again, in fact, on, on Purim next week. Um, so just to end with two Purim songs from Mr. Hollander, and one uh, that he loved to sing on Purim was Achashverus Unzer Koenig. Now, I do want to point out that also on the website, you can hear an entire Purim spiel that Mr. Hollander's sister wrote in 1932 as acted out by Henry Carey and Miriam Chaya, Miriam Chaya Siegel, who came to the shul. So you can hear it read by Mr. Hollander, and you can also see it. We actually staged this Purim spiel with Henry Carey and Miriam Chaya, Chaya Siegel, who are wonderful actors, and they did the whole Hollander Purim spiel. This is, uh, he talked about his sister going door to door, he and his sister going door to door, they would knock on the door and say the usual Purim thing, and they would give the Groshen, and then they would do the entire Purim spiel, and then do it again, and they got a lot of Groshen. So they would go around to the whole town and do this. And this Purim spiel is on the Temple Beth Israel website, and there's a video of, of those folks doing the Purim spiel. Um, but these are two great Purim songs, so I'll, I'll teach them now, and you can sing them along with me. Um, 
This is a great one. Um, as you can see, our King Akashveros has very little common sense. He can eat a very full portion, but as for knowledge, he only has a little bit. Akashveros unzer keinig lumai mai, lumai mai. Do it with me. Here we go. Akashveros unzer keinig lumai mai, lumai mai. Hot air sechel, hot air sechel, your veinig, loom my my, loom my my, with me. Hot air sechel, your veinig, loom my my, loom my my. Essen kenner a foolish is, loom my my, loom my my. Essen kenner a foolish is, loom my my, loom my my. Oh, the learning can it not be so? Loom my my, loom my my. Oh, the learning can it not be so? Loom my my, loom my my. I think I'll go a little higher. Let's sing it together. Ah, Hashveros, unser Kenig, loom my my, loom my my. Hatter Seku, Zeyer Venig, loom my my, loom my my. Hessen kenner a foolish is loom my my loom my my all the learning kenner nor a beast loom my my loom my my ach hashveros unzer kenig loom my my loom my my hat der seko zeyer venig loom my my loom my my hessen kenner a foolish is loom my my loom my my Oh, the learning can not be so loom my my loom my my and so of course the teacher in the town would dress up as a horse on Purim and they would parade him through the streets he he would put on a horse head and they would have a big parade with everybody in costume and they would sing these songs as they went and the last song that we're going to do then in honor of Purim, because I can imagine in the town, the Shabbos before Purim on Friday night, they probably sang the Purim songs. I mean, why wouldn't they to go over them? So uh, the last one we're going to we're going to uh, get to sing here is Bing Bimkom Mayim. So this is in Hebrew, of course, in Galician or Hebrew. And this says, instead of water, let's drink wine. Only in the name of heaven, of course. Only, 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 only in the name of heaven. One glass to bless Mordechai and one glass to Haman. And uh, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> so let's learn it. <laughs> okay. And if you know Yiddish, then you know what I didn't translate. Okay. So uh, here we go. Um, uh, Bim kom mayim tishte yayin rak la shem shamayim. Here we go. Bim kom mayim tishte yayin rak la shem shamayim. Ay rak 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 la shem shamayim. Ay rak 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 la shem shamayim. Bim kom mayim tishte yayin rak. Lashem Shamayim. Ay rak 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 Lashem Shamayim. Ain Koidesh ke Mordechai. Ain Kaka ke Haman. Ay bimkom mayim tishte yayin rak Lashem Shamayim. Ay rak 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 Lashem Shamayim. Ay bimkom mayim tishte yayin rak Lashem Shamayim. Ay rak 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 Lashem Shamayim. Lechaim. And who's drinking what tonight? Michael, what do you have there in Scotland? All right. Yayin. Yayin. All right. Very nice. Yeah, Thank it's you. it, it <laughs> is Yayin, actually. It, it's not some of the local product. <laughs> All right. And Ed Brown, what do you have? <laughs> He's not telling. Oh, I am. <laughs> oh, okay. Just Mayim. Okay. There we go. <laughs> I have vitamin water. Vitamin water. <laughs> okay. Anyone else have anything they want to uh, show us here? Okay. So I cannot thank you all enough for joining us.
at the annual Hollander Tisch. It has been a wonderful, wonderful evening and enjoy the rest of your Shabbos. Enjoy Purim. Come back to Temple Beth Israel whenever you get a chance. You know, we are online. We're online on Friday night at 530. We're online on Shabbos morning at 1030. And uh, it's, 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 a, it's a great place. As you can see, it's a very different shul than most shuls. Uh, it's, you know, the only place I would go. So uh, it's fantastic, fantastic shul right here. It's the little shul that time forgot. And it's amazing. In the little town that time forgot, Waltham, Massachusetts, we have to also say that. Um, so um, where it's always 1959, right, Jimmy? I would say, absolutely. So, um, but unless you're eating at a really good Indian restaurant or Thai restaurant or Vietnamese restaurant on Moody Street, in which case it's right now. So uh, it, it's the place to be. So thank you so much again. And, uh, you know, come visit us and we'll see you next year at the Hollander Tisch in February. Take care, bye. Wow, there's like 96 things in the chat. Oh my God, I better look. Wow. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you all so much. You can all unmute and say, say hi. I'll see you tomorrow, Ed. <laughs> all right. Thank you, Hank, and everybody. That was really amazing. Um, and I just put this in the chat, but apropos of my bar mitzvah there, um, let's see, uh, how many years ago? Well, 50 some years ago. Uh, my birthday is tomorrow. Wow. Okay. Happy Amazing. birthday, Michael. Happy birthday, hey. Michael. Thanks. Hi, Ray. Hey, Corey. Happy Hi birthday. Hi, Happy Hank birthday, is? Michael. Yom Haledet Sameach. Now, that morning. sounds like a Amen. Philadelphia voice. Like, just hey, like Harvey. Harvey. Hey, Hi. Hey, I Hank have Chris? Bernie here. Bernie's joined us, too. I see Bernie, too. Bernie, yeah. Bernie is everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> Yay, Bernie. So who was that who just said Hankus with a Philadelphia me, accent? Yeah, I, I, I have um, the Yisker book for the region that uh, the uh, Hollander came from. Amazing. My mother came from that region. Miriam Isaacs yeah. is here joining us, a great scholar of Yiddish and a translator so, of Yiddish and a teacher yeah. of Yiddish. Yay. So it's, it's a book that's in Yiddish. It's never been translated. Amazing. But it, cover, it covers that region. And it covers up a uh, remite and and Beraksats? You know, it goes re, uh, district by district. So I haven't looked at every district, but it has a lot of photographs also. Amazing. Is it part of the New York Public Library system, or is it has not? No, I, it either? came to me by sheer chance. Someone was getting rid of books, and there was a box of Yiddish history books, and mm. then this particular Yisker book that's of my mother's family. Wow. Oh, so, they were yeah. From there. So it's one of those Bashir things. Miriam, so, which, Miriam, which is the book is it? Uh, I have it here. It's, oh, you don't have to hold out. I just, uh, what's the title? I mean, what's, what's, what's what, is, what is it? In Miriam is done with, uh, when she's done with the Koyach for Numar, oh, for the Gan, yes, this would be something different to yes, do, right? Um, and it's Karpatos uh, Mara Morish. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, and put it out. What's the publication date, Miriam? I'm just looking now. <laughs> from a Rosman from Israel, Rehovot, printed in Israel, 1968. So still copywritten, probably, right? Mm. Uh, I don't know. I think 75 years, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I yeah, and of course, okay. another another family name from that area, and Mr. Hollander's best friends in in Boston were the Marmelsteins, because Marmelsteins all come from that area. Yes. Yeah. Well, you know yeah. what the photos look like. It's quite amazing. Cool. Amazing. Ah, oh, so someday, uh, Where someday are when you? I see you live, uh, maybe I'll get to look at that. <laughs> That's a sham. Yeah. yeah. Diana has something to say. Miriam, are you in Boston? No. no, I'm in Washington, D.C., but I might be in the Boston area this yeah. summer. Hankins, will you, will you facilitate that? Oh, yeah. I mean, I, we, we, you know, we'll visit Washington as soon as we can. My wife's in Washington. No, no so. I'm not saying that. I'm saying I would like For to sure. contact Miriam. 
Oh, to contact Miriam. Yeah, I see Miriam every Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. That's easy. <laughs> Absolutely, Diana. And Diana Korzenik for all. Okay, like I got I got to do this. I mean, I just got to do this. So Diana Kor Korzenik, first of all, grew up literally in the backyard of 770 Eastern Parkway in New York um, and literally like watched the dancing of the Chabad Hasidim as she was growing up and painted them from her backyard and has an incredible painting. Diana is an artist and an incredible educator for many, many years and taught art education for many, many years and, a and, and, and has an incredible art collection, which I don't know where it is now because you sold your house. Uh, but, 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 but Diana is another wonderful member of our shul who, who is, is really kind of, and also such a mentor, somebody who, who really understands this whole thing of transmitting. I mean, she wrote a wonderful book about her own family history, which she has been talking about uh, for, the, for the last, uh, for the last several months and giving wonderful, wonderful talks about that and how she discovered so much about her own family history. It's an incredible story. Well, Mary, right. I want to talk to you. So we'll- Same here. So Hankus will email will us both. I look forward to it. And I see that Mr. Hollander has arrived in one of the yes. squares. Susan, yes, thank you for Who the put list. that up there? Susan, no, thank Hollander. you. There's a picture of him at my anniversary party where he sang and chanted and um, Edith was there, but I don't have that picture. Thank again. you so much, Susan. That is wonderful. And Susan, Susan was there with him so much and so much part of the Chesed committee, leading the Chesed committee of the shul and really, oh, you know, taking you, care of everybody whenever, whenever they've been ill. And the Hollanders were, were her special, special project. Can you tell, just tell, 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 tell the people who are still with us because there's no reason they should leave um, about, about Mr. Hollander's favorite verse in the Bible. Oh, yes. Um, <laughs> you know, um, uh, Mr. Hollander's favorite verse, and I'm not good at memorizing exactly, but um, his blessing was that uh, your foot should never stumble on a stone. Yes. Do, yes. do you know the, the other line? He, he always found the positive things. And I want to say, I remember when the, we had to chant Torah of the Curses, Mr. Hollander always took that on so nobody else should have to do it. Oh, the curse is in the Torah. That's right. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> right. Yeah. That incredibly yeah. long thing where you have um, to recite. <laughs> he was so much a person of tradition, but he welcomed everybody, no matter whether you follow the tradition or you didn't. He was mm. both the old and the new, so open minded and, and so loving to everyone. And he could find your special thing that you loved and connect to you on that one thing. And for every person, he had a different special connection. He was like a father to me and I, I miss him every yeah. day. Yeah. The, the blessing, the bless, the, 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 the verse, yitzave lach lishmorcha bechol derachecha, for the Holy One will send God's angels to guard you along mm. your path. Uh, al kapai misa uncha upon, nice. upon the 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 royal the the the, the divine palms uh, you'll be lifted up uh, so that nice. you will not stumble on a rock and whenever you would go you know bless your comings and goings he would say and what about all the time in between that <laughs> Always. Thank you, Joseph. I miss you, Joseph. Great to see you. Likewise. Thank you for joining us. We see, oh we my see God. your eye behind Morris. Emily says, where's Susan? <laughs> Hello. There you are. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, that's so beautiful. Thank you for that. Wow. And I have another one to show. My husband's going to say. Sweet. Finish. Go ahead. Go ahead. That's right. Put He's it up. Going. Anyone else have a have a Morris Morris or Edith story here? Uh, while we're while I, we're waiting? I have a story of of missing him because what's amazing? I mean, you mentioned we, my bar mitzvah at the beginning of which was actually in right around this time of year at 1967. Yes, and then, he arrived a month later. Right, and he arrived. <laughs> you know, 
in the, the next year and in exactly the beginning early on in that year my uh my aunt pike had died and and so i really didn't have a connection to the shul anymore and i was kind of moving on in my life anyway so um yeah it just you know so so near but yes so far on the other side michael is also descended from Morrison and Schiff. In fact, Morrison, Ruby Morrison. So not only the Beechers, but also the, the good salami. <laughs> by, by marriage, it was my aunt married Ruby Morrison. <laughs> that's right, that's right. So that wonderful factory over there in, in, in Dorchester uh, with, with the, with the uh, with the rooms that heated up to about like a hundred and no, they were they were like a hundred degrees below zero, I think something like that. It was like they could have had the COVID vaccine in that room, from what I heard. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, so, so we got another photo of Morris here. That uh, yeah, so this is Edith. I wanted to make sure she was sweet. There they are. There we go. Hey, uh, hey, uh, so, uh, Susan and Pierce on that square. Very nice. Beautiful. And anyone else? Well, it's almost 8.30, which is usually our time for the Tish to go, about an hour and a half. So <laughs> we'll say good night and thank you so much for joining us. But be in touch if you have anything else that you, you want to know about or anything you want to add. And that's about it. All right. Take care. Take Good care. Good job, us everyone. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Much for all the Love wonderful it. things you said about our show. It is truly a special place. <laughs> I didn't say anything I didn't believe. Bye. It was the spirit of Morris that lifted us up. It really he Sweet. made it. His, <laughs> thank his, you, Phyllis. So. Thank you for thank you for singing. <laughs> thank yeah. You. Bye thanks, bye. everyone. Oh, uh, be well. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. What'd you say? What'd you say, love? Somebody said something? I said, good to see you, Jesse and Emily. I, nice. Oh, Diana. All right. Okay. Okay. Regards to everybody over in Scotland. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Love to Emily. Bye. Yeah, thanks, Jane. Mark, thank you for facilitating everything and for your great forum, Kiddish. All right. Wonderful. Thank you to Mark. Bye. Bye-bye.